everybody. Let's see if anybody is here today. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Of course, my phone just chimed as soon as I hit start on the video. So let's see what's up with there. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. So um, what you doing? So happy Thursday. Hey, Deborah. Hello. So lots of stuff going on today. Um, I've got about 30 minutes. So let me set my timer, um, maybe 25 minutes because the text just came through saying I'm going to be busy in 30 minutes. So I better set my timer for 25. We'll talk for 25. Hey, everybody. So uh, Brian, oh, you're working. Not like, yay, the video is working. You're like at the office or shop working, right? Because <laughs> the frowny face. I'm like, certainly you're not frowning because the video is working, right? Right? <laughs> so hi, everybody. But yeah, that, yeah. But there is a frowny face situation going on, you all. Like, I don't know if you have heard the... Um, big rumble in the crochet industry. There's been a couple rumblings in the crochet industry lately. Um, so the big one that relates to me and to you all is that my publisher, F&W, who owns Interweave Press, filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy on Monday. Yay. <laughs> so um, literally, I was up until two in the morning, um, working on the final edits of the book, like the final done, 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 for real done edits, like the process has taken so long, and we had to like redo stuff so much. That Everything was due on Tuesday so that the editor on Tuesday afternoon could put in the final last tweaks of the text so that the book could go to print, I think, on Wednesday. And Monday night, Monday in the afternoon, I received word that F&W Interweave filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So I do not know yet what that means for me and the book One Skein Crochet. So I do know that my editor still has a job as of yesterday. She still had a job and she was working on the final edits. I do not know if the book went to print as scheduled because they owe a lot of money to printers. So Forbes magazine online, the online version of Forbes magazine printed an article about the uh, filing of bankruptcy by um, F&W Media. And in that article, they reported that F&W Interweave owed something crazy, like $102 million places. And they published a list of 540 some pages of people who they owe money. And my name is on the list. Oh, dog is, the dog is ringing the bell. Hey, Patrick, the dog needs to go out and I'm on live video. He just came and rang the bell. Sorry about that. Um, so they had like 540 pages of people that they owe money and I'm on the list. So that's not how I wanted to get my name in Forbes magazine. <laughs> so of course my name isn't exactly in Forbes magazine. It was just on the link. Um, and I guess F&W had to post um, when they filed their bankruptcy, they had to like provide a list of all of the um, people that they owe money. His leash is over there in the dining room. Okay. Um, or use his harness. So anyway, I'm on the list. Now, currently, they don't owe me a significant amount of money because the book hasn't started to sell yet, meaning revenues and stuff. So um, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, there's a possibility that they 
uh, may not print the book at all. And if they choose not to print the book, I was looking at my contract and I, I'm pretty sure if I understand it all correctly, like I had an attorney who helped negotiate the whole contract. So like, but I haven't had a chance to hear from her since this whole bankruptcy news came down. Cause I'm sure she's very busy with all of the clients in this industry who are concerned. So I think from reading my contract again, carefully, I think that if they choose not to publish the book, that the rights revert back to me um, and I'll be able to do what I want with all the projects. I think though that I will not own the photography they took. I think that I, I don't know if I get to use that or if I have to retake the photos myself, assuming that they give me the projects back in a timely manner. So there's just so many like what ifs. So if the, if I, I know that if they, they're looking for a buyer to buy the books division of the company and they have like another division of the company that they're also looking for a buyer. It may be the same buyer. It might be two different buyers. I don't know. I know they're looking for people to bail them out. <laughs> and so if they get a buyer, at least for my section, my book section, um, I'm assuming that my book will go on as planned, um, but I, I really have no idea. I don't know if it's now going to be on hold. I don't know if it's going as scheduled. I have no idea. Like nobody's telling me anything yet. I think chapter 11 bankruptcy protects them from having to do anything or accrue any more debt, I think, until they figure it out. Like I think it gives them so many days of protection. I'm not a lawyer. Maybe you, one of you are. So, um, still the plan, it, I don't, I haven't even checked Amazon. I don't know if you guys have checked Amazon yet to see if the book is still up as available on pre-order on Amazon. I'm guessing that they would not have like updated that this soon. So I don't know what's going on. So thanks everybody for coming. So, um, by the way, I've got about, uh, 10 minutes or more that I can do on live before I have to get going, but um, so I don't know. I do. I did double check my contract. And if the book gets printed, I do get um, plenty of copies for the 30 people who reserved a signed copy so that when I receive them, I will then um, send out the PayPal invoices and um, and then get those mailed out as quickly as I receive them. So, Chris, what happened was. Um, on t Monday, I think it was Monday now, F&W, who owns Interweave, who publishes my book, One Skin Crochet, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And so I don't know what that means in terms of whether or not they're going to actually send my book to the printer. It is, it is now done. It is done. And they were supposed to mail it or give it to the printer as of like Wednesday. But Monday... Um, they announced or they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And I know that they owe, owe a significant amount of money to printers. And so if they owe that much money to printers, I don't know what printer would be willing to take the job of printing my book. Like, I don't, it, they were going to, I don't know how many thousands of copies that they were going to print, but it's a big job. And I don't know what printer would want to take the risk with a company who's in bankruptcy, you know, because there's a possibility they could maybe not get paid. <laughs> um, just like me. <laughs> so we shall see what's going on. So I will keep you posted. And I have not heard. and I have no idea what's going on, Chris, in terms of um, Amazon. So um, I would imagine that people who paid money on Amazon if they do not print the book, it could get a refund, um, especially if they don't print it or, or if they don't print it in a timely manner. I think they have a certain number of days that they have to offer you a refund if they cannot fulfill your order in a certain number of days. So I don't know if we're on schedule. I don't know if we're off schedule. I don't know if we can. Um, yeah. Yeah. Karen, I know we can, I can publish through Amazon. The, the problem is I don't know if I, I don't own I have to figure out if I'm allowed to use their photography because I'm guessing that their photographer didn't get paid and I don't want to um, exploit that person or that team 
um, because I'm guessing they're independent contractors of FNW Interweave. And so if they didn't get paid, it's not fair that their work get used. So I'm not sure if they got paid or not. So I have to figure out what I'm allowed to use from my book. <laughs> like, obviously, I know I can use, I can take my projects and re-photograph them and I can use the instructions that I wrote. Another contractor made the symbol diagrams, so I need to see if I can use the diagrams that she created, if that's part of, if I own those or if she owns those or F&W owns those, I'm not real sure. So I don't want to, I don't want to use stuff that does not belong to me. So um, I will, yeah, I, you know, yeah, absolutely, Paula, I can check and see if the photographer will sell me the photos, but I can't afford the photos if F&W is not paying me. So we, we shall see what's going to happen, but um, their photo, their photos are great. You know, maybe their photos are great. So I don't know, maybe I can just, um, anyway, I'll figure it out. So it's just a matter of, um, I'm listed as a person in their, um, and their legal filing that they owe money. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm positive everything will work out. It's just a matter of Amazon says you need a little more time to provide with a good estimate of like when it would be delivered. Is that what you mean, Chris? Like when delivery of the book will happen. So um, I'm sure it will work out. I'm, I'm sort of worried about it, but not really. Like, um, like I know it'll work out. Worst case scenario, they don't send me the projects back they don't pay any, me any more money and I have to restitch the projects, re-photograph them, retype the tech edited instructions because it's in PDF form now. And I break all those patterns down to make individual PDFs and sell them off either individually or I create a new PDF with all of them together and sell them as a collection. So I, I don't know yet. I don't know what's going to happen. We shall see. Okay. Um, so I don't know what's happening with the book. I don't know whether it'll be published, whether it won't be published, whether it'll be published by them, whether it'll be eventually published by me. Um, but hey, I've got all summer. <laughs> and two weeks of that summer, both kids will be gone. So maybe I can get some good work done then to um, figure it out. In the meantime... I hope you guys have enjoyed the new tapestry crochet video that just went up um, Wednesday, yesterday. And um, I have plans for more videos. Didn't get to it today. Didn't get to your free pattern today. Carleen made an excellent point that there was a, a uh, discrepancy between the written Valentine's shawl pattern and the video, meaning there's two different ways to do it. So in the written pattern, the uh, treble double crochet, or I'm sorry, treble crochet four together with pico is what was used in the written pattern. And along the way, as I was stitching it, I changed my mind and decided to leave the pico off. And that version without the pico is what I filmed in the video. And that is what's in the photographed model. So you can either follow the pattern to the T with the pico as I originally designed it, or you can follow the pattern along with the video um, the way I ultimately decided to do it, leaving off the Pico because I felt like it was too busy with the Pico. And then I just forgot to go back and switch the instructions. So everybody who downloaded the pattern, the free Valentine's crochet shawl pattern via Ravelry, I have already updated that PDF to indicate the, uh, omission of the Pico. So all of you who've downloaded the pattern via Ravelry will be receiving probably an email or a message on your Ravelry page saying, hey, the designer updated the pattern and here's the new version. And then also I did that on my website too for anybody who downloaded the pattern from the website. Can you guys see Minnie? Can you see her right back there? Minnie! Mimi, she's ducking down. Did you did you catch a glimpse of her back there against the wall next to the TV? 
<laughs> so you don't see her very often. So I thought I'd point her out. It's kind of like a where's Waldo, like, woo. Anyway, she's right there <laughs> and she's crouched down. So as soon as she sits up again, you'll see her little head poke up. Okay. So I don't know. Um, actually, Chris, I if you can hang in there, I would appreciate you not canceling your Amazon pre-orders yet um, because I don't want them to think that there's a lack of interest in the book and say, oh, well, who cares? Nobody wants it anyway. So we'll just go ahead and scrap it. Um, so if you can hang in there with your Amazon pre-orders a little bit longer, I'd appreciate it until they figure it out because I want them to get an accurate understanding of um, how many people want the book. If you decide you don't want the book for real and really don't want the book, then go ahead and cancel it. But if you think you have interest in the book, please keep your Amazon pre-order orders up. That way they understand that there are people in the world who actually want the book. So if you could hang in there, I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's see. I think that's about all I have to do today. I, I'm probably not going to get you a free crochet pattern of the week yet, up today, but um, I do want to work on um, another two, Tunisian stitch and some more stitch tutorials for you. I feel like it's been a while. So I was happy to get up the waddle stitch and I was happy to get up the tapestry crochet introduction. So I hope you enjoyed those. Please keep streaming the channel as much as you like. Remember there's right and left handed versions. Don't forget the unboxings and the swatching videos and um, the whole Valentine's crochet shawl series and the off to college crochet blanket series. Um, don't forget there are still items up for bid on the um, the fundraiser that I'm working on for Amara's trip to South Korea. So go watch that video. And if you have any interest in those items, Tunisian ripple stitch. Okay. I'll make a note. Um, so if you have interest in purchasing any of the items that were featured on that video, you can email me and, um, and I'll tell you whether or not that those items are still available. Ellen.gocrochet at gmail.com. Send me an email and ask me, if an item is for sale still, most of the yarn is gone, but some of the yarn still remains and um, all the finished items, most of the finished items are still available. So um, a Karen, the it's tapestry uh, single crochet is the video for right and left handed. So uh, that's all I'm going to do for today. I have another task I have to get to, but thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, send your good vibes out in the universe for me to get this book published, <laughs> if that is what is meant to be in the world. So, um, you know, I only want what, you know, God wants for me. If God wants the book to be published, then that's what I want. Oh, there's many. You see her? And if he doesn't want the book published, then that's fine, too. I will just go with uh, whatever is meant to be and um, be flexible, right? <laughs> Yarn is flexible. I guess we have to be also. All right. Uh, that's about all. So I will see you hopefully in a video tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye.